I would like to bring in now David Brown, a researcher at the Astronomy and Astrophysics Group at the University of Warwick. David, as the head of Mission Alpha, uh, Thomas Pesquet is going to be overseeing over 200 scientific experiments up at the ISS. What sort of experiments are we talking about here? Good morning. Um, they've got quite an interesting program um, for this, uh, this mission. Um, one of their main um, goals, um, not really an experiment, but they're going to be um, adding to the solar panels for the space station and trying to improve the power delivery. Um, but their main, uh, main experiments uh, revolve around um, what are called tissue cells. And these are small um, tissue growths um, that they are using to test um, test how the human body uh, reacts in microgravity and potentially test out um, new medicines, new drugs that might help um, with various illnesses. Um, the reason they do this in space is because uh, in microgravity you can simulate the effects of aging or certain diseases but, on, but much more quickly um, than you can on the Earth. Um, so they, they've got some quite interesting sort of biological experiments to, uh, to perform this time around. And what would you say are the specific restraints we're talking about when it comes to conducting scientific experiments in zero gravity? Well, first, of course, there's the issue of movement. Um, your movement is much more, um, much more measured in space. You, can't, uh, you have to be much more careful uh, with how you're moving things around. Everything has to be, has to be kept um, uh, more, much more restricted um, in where it moves. Um, liquids, of course, are, are, much big, are a big problem. Um, you don't want liquids floating around, potentially getting into places where they shouldn't. Um, so you have to be very careful um, with how you're dealing with those, control where they flow. Um, the equipment you have to use, um, laboratories on Earth still use a lot of glasswork, and of course that's a bit of a problem in space. So these experiments really, they have to be designed specifically for the environment um, that, they're, that they're experiencing. And what would you say are the most significant experiments that are going to be taking place up at the ISS over the next six months? Well, some of the experiments they're going to be doing with these tissue cells um, relate to uh, effects on the immune system, um, effects uh, on the immune system of ageing, um, of um, things like kidney failure. So. Obviously, immunity is a, is a big topic at the moment with, with COVID. So I think experiments into immune response um, could, be, could be very interesting and quite important as we move forward. Thank you uh, very much indeed, uh, David Brown. Uh, 